Early voters are starting to receive their ballots in the mail for the primary election on August 28th. As we've mentioned, races in Arizona have garnered national attention and the major parties are already looking ahead to November's general election. This week, we're hearing from members of the Republican National Committee about some of the strategies they're using in Arizona to win voter support. What does the Republican National Committee want with Arizona this year? <laughs> Well, we want to make sure that we um, keep Arizona red. Um, we've obviously heard a lot of talk about this blue wave that we haven't quite seen come through, so we're still waiting. Um, but we are confident that we will keep Arizona red, and especially with our data program and our ground game. We've invested uh, more than $200 million into our data program since 2012. Um, and we've also, we're going to put in 200, more than $250 million into our ground game uh, for this cycle. Has the ground game ever been this strong in Arizona before? No, it hasn't. Um, as far as investment goes, this is the largest investment we've seen in Arizona um, at this point. We've already had more voter contact at this point than any other cycle so far. Um, earlier this year in the special election in CD8, we knocked on over 115,000 doors just in the last month and a half of the election. So we're already seeing the uh, benefits of the, of the ground game that we've been putting in and all the investment that we've been making. Um, so you know, we're, we're just anticipating that to continue and just keep growing our, our uh, teams to capacity. This sounds intense, a lot of resources on behalf of the Republican Party. Does that translate into potential worry about what's about to happen this next election cycle? Well, we're confident that we can, I mean, we obviously know there are headwinds up against us coming into a midterm election, uh, being the majority party and after a presidential election. But the difference here is that we've, thanks to Chairwoman uh, Ronna McDaniel and the Chairman Lines here in um, Arizona, we've been able to invest into our ground game and data um, operation, and that's just something the Democrats don't have. Um, and so we're not leaving anything to chance. We're going to play in all the target races um, across the country and especially here in Arizona. And we believe that with this data program that we've built in the ground game, we've been able to build here in coordination with the state party, that we have a very good chance to defy history in November. Dan, what issues are important to Republicans in Arizona right now as we approach an election? Uh, right now, the ones that we're focusing on mostly uh, is uh, the abolishment of ICE that's not being viewed popularly across the state by anyone, uh, Republican, Democrat alike. Um, also, Go uh, Governor Ducey's education plan, that's a very big issue that is being looked at favorably on both sides of the aisle as well. So those are the two main things that we're focusing on. The Republican Party is somewhat fractured right now from an identity perspective. So who exactly are you trying to reach in Republicans? Are these Trump Republicans? Are these Jeff Flake Republicans? Help me understand this. I don't think the party's as fractured as people <laughs> say it is. Um, I think that they are very united and energized more than ever. We've seen that in our data-driven ground game here and the activists and grassroots who have gotten involved. We have more than 2,000 trained fellows across the state of Arizona. And to give you perspective, in 2016, we only had 5,000 nationwide. So we're already at half that in the state of Arizona. Um, than you know, uh, we were last cycle. So and nationwide, we have more than 18,000 trained fellows. And what that means is they have the tools necessary to go out and uh, get volunteers activated in their communities and go out and register voters and talk to them at the doors and on the phones. As we get closer, you said you're not quite involved in the primaries, but once August 28th comes and goes, what can we expect from the Republican Party in Arizona? So you can expect to see um, our ground game that we've been building here over the past year, more than a year now, um, really activate and start working for these candidates. Um, we're, we've already been active in our communities and everything and building up uh, these neighborhood uh, teams. So we, that's what we call them on the um, grassroots level. We have a Republican leadership initiative uh, training that all of these um, neighborhood team leaders go through. And so you can really see that kick in and start in the conversation starting um, solely for these candidates and specific messages moving forward. What is it that the party really sees in Arizona this time around? I think it's just that we're not taking anything for granted a lot like what Christiana said. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we've done everything that we need to do in order to win. Um, and so we're just not taking anything for granted. We want to make sure that, you know, when November 9th rolls around, we can say confidently we did everything that we needed to do to win, and we will. And I would add to that that Arizona values are very much a core um, 
thing here, and the Democrats are trying to make this California. You see groups coming in mm -hmm. with Tom Steyer, for example, um, and really beating this drum that doesn't resonate with Arizonans, and we're seeing that in our data. Uh, so we're able to hone in on the messaging um, that you know Arizonans care about and the issues that they care about so that we can go then and talk to them and deliver um, the correct message to their door and let them know that the Republican values are still the values that Arizonans hold dear here.